Hi, Scorpio. Let's do another message. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It would be greatly appreciated. And here we go. So we're talking about the sun. Are you happy? Somebody wants to know if you're happy with them. So it seems to be that somebody is trying their best um, to make you happy. But they don't know how if you're not expressing yourself. above and beyond for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody wants to spoil you, wants to give you what, what you deserve, but they don't know, you're not really expressing anything. They don't know if it's enough. If they are impressing you, um, if they're doing enough, this kind of makes me sad. Yeah, they're, they're conflicted. They're confused trying to figure out, you know, do they have competition? What is this? You know, somebody wants to know. Page of Swords, they're curious. It's like, what do I do? How do I get Scorpio to um, accept my advances. I don't even know if you're happy. To be honest with you, I'm not even getting that from the sun card. The sun card represents happiness. And I feel like somebody is definitely doing their best to um, see a smile on your face, make you happy. And it doesn't feel like to me, like, Look at her. It's like you're wearing a poker face. And this person's very curious. Like, anything I'm doing working? Is anything I'm doing working? Is it working? Am I getting through to you? They're very, 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 very interested in learning this. Because they want, okay. Okay. So this is what they want. They want you to start re reciprocating, um, Scorpio. I feel like you're a bit confused. What's at the bottom? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to give. They give a lot, though. You don't really give too much. You're definitely keeping a poker face. And it's starting to take a toll on this person. Um, Leo, Libra, it's starting to take a toll on this person and they don't know what to do is, is what, is what I'm getting. All right. So clarify the sun. Sorry, clarify the sun, please. They send you gifts. Strength card. This is a Leo for some of you. Something about your intuition is telling you to keep quiet about this investment. Don't really say much. Okay. The Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. So, okay, you're still guessing, you're still trying to see if this is your divine partner and you don't want to get too excited. Okay, I got it. Yeah, because I just saw the tower and that would be your energy. All right. So for them, Page of Pentacles, who is this person for, for Scorpio? Who is this person, please? Could 
be another Scorpio or someone that screwed up with you before and is trying to make it right. Um, could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. You have Aquarius here, Libra. All right, so this would be somebody that screwed up with you before and is trying to make it right. And it's trying to see, you know, if any of the things that they are doing is, is working, you know? They're trying to keep out other suitors. And I feel like you're keeping that on a hush too. Okay. So obviously the six of swords is representing um, some sort of transition, some sort of move movement, you know. I don't believe you're in a committed relationship with this person, but I do believe you are dating this person. And they're ready to see if you are feeling the same way about them. Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to want to start having a conversation. Like, are you seeing someone else with the Seven of Cups here? Are you seeing someone else? Is it just me? Am I making you happy? What's the deal here? That's the Knight of Swords. And here's the Nine of Wands. Because they're, they're starting to feel like, you know, feel paranoid and also feel like they need to put a wall up and protect themselves from you. It's not 100% there yet, but it's like 2%, 3%, you know, there. Like sitting in the back of their mind, maybe I need to, you know, pull back. Clarify the nine of wands. Maybe I need to pull back a little from Scorpio. So clarifying the nine of wands is, yeah, they're definitely thinking that here's a four of swords. Taking a break in a judgment and the two of swords. Yeah, before you do that to them is what I'm getting. What do they wanna talk about? Eight of wands, please. Eight of Wands being clarified by the King of Cups. They want to talk about if you are interested in them. If anything that they're doing is working, are you going to accept their cup if they extend it to you? Empress, so they, the Emperor then came out already. Here's the Emperor now. So is anything that they're doing working? The Hierophant, can you guys be in a committed relationship? The Hangman. So it's like they want to see something different, want to see where your mind is at. Should they continue to pursue you? is what I'm getting, Scorpio. So closing this out is King of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Death card. Somebody wants to know that it's, it's, if it's safe for them to be sit comfortable with you. Is it safe with you? Am I doing the right thing? Am I making you feel secure? See, Four of Wands. Seven of Swords and the Moon, or is this just a lie? Are you covering up? Do you really like me or not? King, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the World card. Are you going to close this out with me? What do you want? Somebody wants to know. Love you guys. Message.